What is up you guys, so today's gonna be a new tutorial in Premiere Pro showing you guys how to do this slide text effect and this was used in Sam Coder's latest DJI film and also Beautiful Destinations uses this sort of effect in their videos too. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is just press Command T so we can create a new title and I'm gonna change the font to Myriad Pro. I found that this is a good font for this effect. And I'm gonna change the font style to bold. And then I'm just gonna type in beautiful destinations. You can type in whatever text you want. And then for beautiful, I'm gonna keep that bold, but then I'm gonna highlight destinations and then change that font style to regular. And you could do the same for like if it was someone's name. You can kind of keep the first name in bold and then last name in regular or stuff like that. Um, so now I'm just going to close the title and then I'm going to drag it into my timeline now just extend it to about five seconds and then I'm going to press command T again so I can create another title and then we're gonna make a backslash so you can find it on your keyboard where the question mark is and then we're gonna make that size a little bit bigger and we'll slide it right next to the S so you're gonna want it to be just a little bit bigger than your actual text and then we're gonna close it and then we're gonna bring the title into our timeline right above the beautiful destinations text. Okay, now we're gonna make that appearing effect. So we're gonna go to our bottom text and we're gonna press that rectangle to make a new mask. And then we're just gonna bring out the edges so that it reveals all of the text. Okay, so now we're just gonna go to a little bit after the clip starts, so about one and a half seconds. And we're gonna press the keyframe button for mask path. And then we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip and then press the mask and then bring it all the way to the left so you can no longer see the image. And then we're going to change the feathering to zero. So now if we watch it back, it kind of reveals the image. And maybe you want that to be a lot faster so you can bring the keyframe a little bit closer to the beginning. Okay, so now you're going to drag your bar to where the animation just ends. And then we're going to go to our backslash title layer and then... Press the keyframe button for position, and then we're going to go to the beginning of the clip, right where the B starts to appear, and slide that all the way right before the B. And then bring that keyframe and just drag it to the, the very beginning of the clip. Okay, so now it kind of appears along with the text, but you're going to see that it doesn't perfectly match up. So you're going to need to watch the animation back and go to a part where you see that the backslash is behind the letter and and then adjust the position so it's ahead of it. Okay, so now we have that whole effect in the beginning take place. But now if you want to close the text so it disappears, then keep watching. So we're going to go to our first text again and then drag your bar to where you want the text to disappear again. And then go to your last keyframe and then hold alt on it and then drag it to where your bar is. And then you can go a little bit forward and then hold alt on your first keyframe and then drag it to where your bar is. And then you're gonna keep that bar there and then go back to your first title and then hold alt on your first position keyframe and then drag it to where your bar is. And then you can press that left arrow so it brings you to your last keyframe and then try to grab it and hold alt and then bring it forward to where the text starts to disappear. So try to match it at that same place. So now if you watch it back, it appears and then it stays for a little bit and then it disappears. So yep, that's the entire effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.